Another critical innings for KL Rahul. And why is every Indian bowler scared of bowling to MS Dhoni? You're watching the Morning After IPL. The Shubman Gill, license to three, 007. Okay! <laughs> Saturday morning, the Saturday morning uh, after the night that was. Uh, hey, click subscribe if you're new to TGC. Yeah. Big news, we've got a, uh, we're doing a live stream for KKR and RCB on Sunday afternoon, the Sunday afternoon game. Um, they're in, it's at Eden Gardens, I think, that one. Um, I think but, it is, uh, yeah. but we are doing the live stream here on our YouTube channel, so click subscribe, join us. We love the comments, we love all the likes and engagement we get with you guys. Hope you're enjoying the coverage of the IPL so far. Uh, and this was another fantastic game of cricket, Pezza. It was the perfect game for LSG fans. Mm. Turn up in your yellow, watch Donny explode, and walk away with the two points. Absolutely perfect. Whilst wearing your uh, CSK jerseys. Indeed. Uh, supporting whoever you like. Uh, let's get the scores on the screen, though, uh, please, Charlie. So CSK batted first. They made 176 for six. Jadeja, pick of the sticks there, 57 red. Rahane was nice at the top as well. Pandya and Stoinis did yeah. the business for LSG, really put the stranglehold there. And it was an absolute procession yeah. in the second innings. Yeah, clinical. Uh, LSG did it with an over to spare, only yeah. losing two wickets. KL Rahul was yeah. fantastic. A, a crucial time in this IPL, you feel like, as well. Uh, Quinton de Kock was excellent as well. Well, as he often is, and then Puran and Soros finish it off. Nothing much to report for the bowlers there. That's what's happened in the games. Let's just start. We'll, we'll, we'll go in uh, chronology here today, mm. Peza, and we'll start with the first innings. And get, get Should some, we talk uh, about who actually presents the show? Okay. Yeah, go on. Okay. Now delivering in 10 minutes. It's just important to show that Coley is on every show. We, get, we, get, we, we often get asked, can you bring Virat yeah. on? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Not Any- quite how you, you sort of <laughs> ask for it, but we can do it. Every question we ask him, he always has the same response, yeah. so, which is really <laughs> odd. Every single right. show. It's really strange. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, <laughs> thank you for saving me there. Uh, let's talk no, about no. the first thing. Uh, Jadu runs. Yeah. Um, so Jadeja batted number four in this game, 57 of 40. Got the, got the promotion. Promotion. Um, Ratchin was bowled first ball. Uh, that's 133 runs in the IPL so far, averaging 19. He started with 37 and 46. Just going mm. through the other batters here mm. b- before we get to Jadeja. His last five scores, though, Ratchin have been 2, 12, 15, 21, and 0. They might look to change that at the top, I'd imagine, because they've obviously got Moen, who ba- who played in this game, made 30 off 20 at the end there with uh, some other guy. Daryl Mitchell is also in the squad there. He can also bowl. I don't like. I'm, I mean, I think... Ratchin is quality, he, he, and he's he looks the business. He just looks at the moment, though, it's few low scores, and it's such a critical position up in the top. Um, I'd imagine that Rahane, who did open, and Guy Quart about a three in this game, could open. It's just 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 a change that could happen. Um, and, uh, look, not much else to report. I mean, Rahane about a nice, 36 off 24. Uh, before Donny and uh, Moeen got them to 176. But um, it was Jado who stitched it all together tonight. He was fantastic. Kept them in the game, really. Also took a fantastic catch mm. off K.O. Rahul late in the game. Maybe the catch of the tournament in a, in a tournament where no one can catch. So it hasn't been many classic catches. It's a catches, really good tipping over the bar. Yep. This tournament, a lot of yep. goalkeeping saves as well. Well, when when Jadeja went to fifty, I think it was Deepak Hooder was yeah. down the ground who then dropped him for six. So it's just like that. That's been the case in this IPL. No one can fucking catch. It's yeah. really bizarre. Anyway, Jadeja was was excellent. The you things you've seen telepathy. before. Telep- telepathy. Telepathy. Fifty-seven yeah. or four. He, last week, what he, he uh, first player to score a thousand IPL runs, mm-hmm. uh, hundred wickets and hundred catches yes. in the tournament. Yes. Uh, what's the first number there? One. What's his number? Eight. Eight minus one. <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> One minus eight. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what now. He really, I mean, th- this this is going to be a theme of this show, but like the guy is not getting the love they deserve. Now, Jadeja has been such a great contributor to Indian mm. cricket and for CSK. We've said this before. Literally won the IPL final last year with six and a four of the last two balls. Um, and like he, he desperately wants that love. He wants the love. Jadeja, telepathy. That nickname lasted eight seconds. I'd already forgotten about it. Yeah. No, no one's calling him that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, well, while he was in, and uh, but, but as wickets were tumbling, um, Jin Jin bowled really well. Forgotten Panda. I've uh, forgotten forever. Panda. Yes, uh, he was Scott, great. The, th- the third quarter of that innings, like they really slowed it down. Stoinis yeah. bowls two overs for yes. ten. Seven. Say, se- Is that right? Yeah. Yep. For seven runs. So Krunal Pandya two for sixteen off three. Yeah. Stoinis takes one for seven and gets Dubai. So right. those five overs were three for 23. Yeah, There's so they the game. really slow it down. Yeah. A bloke comes in at the end and, uh, and helps matters a yeah. little bit. But, uh, I know that, that's right, Moeen. Yeah. Really good, good yeah. to see him playing well. But uh, Moeen for a reason. It's 
Uh, one of those wickets was uh, Sami Rizvi, who who unfortunately did get a good one. Today. He got a good one today. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, sometimes yeah, you can't do anything about that. You can't do anything about that. Um, <laughs> Where's he looking? He's looking to see if Donny's in next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, well, he was the impact sub as well, Rizvi. Okay. So, I mean, in terms so he's of he, doing what he's meant to do. He made an yeah. impact, I suppose, yeah. 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 He gave us that meme. Yeah, well, <laughs> what, I, I, did, I did notice it was like, wasn't it like five for 90 or something and, or after 12 and people must be going like, hey, we are going to get 30 balls of this. <laughs> and Moen came in. Yeah, you know, yeah, anyway. yeah. And scored 30 off yeah, 20. that's right. Okay, go on. Let's do it, Charlie. Click subscribe if you're enjoying the show. Click yeah. subscribe if you're enjoying this show and you're enjoying the games. We get this. This won't last much longer. Yeah. Um, and by that I mean the show. I'm not talking about anyone's <laughs> career. Um, I'm talking about Donny Decibels here, Beza. Yeah. Twenty-eight off nine balls at the end of the innings to get uh, CSK to one seventy-six. They would have been nowhere without this innings. Um, Donny. Hasn't got out yet in the IPL. He scored 87 runs off 34 balls, striking him at 255. Incredible. The last couple of games, he's hit, he struck at more than 300. Um, Yash Takor and Mohsen Khan yeah. are fucking scared of Dhoni. Yeah. Um, it makes me think, like, can an Indian bowl to Dhoni? Because I, I, I noticed um, KL Rahul's comments after the game. He said, they haven't seen this atmosphere as we have a young team. MS can intimidate anyone, and our bowlers couldn't maintain their line and length in front of them. They bowled several extras just because Dhoni was facing them. It's an interesting point because like this, like this, he is he is so revered. He is so lionized. that like these young Indian guys, they're fucking scared of him. I, like, I think you have to bowl overseas. It, it, dude, it's a... I mean, tw- let's let's be let's be real. Mm. Twenty eight off nine at age forty two is just extraordinary. Oh, insane. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, and and the the aesthetic of Donny at the moment, where the it's Samson, the salad's out. Oh. He looks like he could bench bench press double his body weight. Yeah. He's they have totally refined his his role. He's a he's a three to five to ten ball specialist. Yeah. Uh, and. You've, you've said the stats before. It's just, it's a sensational thing. And once again, it was a sea of yellow in the crowd. He walks out. You can, you can feel and hear the ecstasy mm. of people as he comes out. Yeah. And it is, it is a thing to remark upon. It's a phenomenon. It's an incredible thing. Um, you were mentioning the, you know, Kale Rahul calling out, and, and I think many others do as well, the intimidation that young bowlers must feel bowling to Dhoni. You know, mm. and I mean, Harsha on Crick Buzz this morning was talking about bowlers needing to, um, you know, play the ball and not the man, mm-hmm. uh, which is usually a good approach in arguments as well. Uh, yeah. This is a separate issue. Um, yeah. Now, in, I've been, in, uh, in like debating. Ex- ex- yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, and good in relationships as well, by the way, if you're having an argument. But, um, <laughs> Why, you why is there a ball in your house? Yeah. Ah, just sort of bottom corner. Uh, anyway, um, easy. Uh, so with Dhoni, I'm wondering, like, why do these young guys struggle so much? Now, mm. what I'm thinking is, as we know, he has to deliver a TED Talk to every player yeah. after, the, after yeah. the game because yeah. every player that does well in the IPL ultimately is asked how this relates back to Dhoni mm. and, they say, and they say, well, I spoke to Dhoni after the last game. Yes. Now, I'm starting to wonder whether in these TED Talks he's giving mm. these lectures, he's actually standing around with them mm. and uh, – <laughs> And and when they and, and you know when you talk to these young guys they say well mahi bai, mahi bai. He mm. told me he hates a little bit of width outside off stump. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So 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 please I, don't so, bowl there. So he, he said just yeah. please don't bowl there yeah. to me. It's like oh, so I'm going to do that. And yeah. Whoosh, yeah. Boosh town. Yeah. So perhaps that's what he's doing. Perhaps that is the secret sauce mm. of MS Stoney. Yeah. When he speaks to these kids, he just mm-hmm. goes like mate, I'll just bit of width outside off stump, and then when you overcorrect, just comes sort of sort of leg side and they'll ramp yeah. you. So most people think that this is the IPL. It's actually Donny speaking to her. He's actually like Tony Robbins sort of gear, you know. <laughs> I, I hate length. Stop, just please don't bowl length to me, you know. Yeah. Um, but like, but I mean, so much of you know celebrity <laughs> and professional athletes and the and the lionising of such yeah. is, is mystique. Exactly. All of this is mystique, Pezza. Yeah, it's, it's it's it is it is a masterclass in PR. Not that not to take away from the mm. uh, the the day of, the deity that he is, right, right? and the right. emotion of Donny that yes. we are learning about and we respect. Yeah. Um, but it is PR 101. Yeah. The, the, the first rule of PR is get your friends to do PR for exactly. you. Don't talk. Don't open your mouth and let others speak for you. So the mystique just rises. Mm. The more of you, the more that you show of yourself, the yep. more people will dislike you or have reason to. How uh, many great players have gone into commentary, opened their mouths, we yeah. thought, don't really, I'm not really. <laughs> yeah, and please do join us here in the morning after IPL for five shows a week. <laughs> 
I've got okay. a, I've got a question. I've got mm. a question that I want the viewers out there to mm. answer in the comments. Would you prefer to win the next World Cup if it meant that you never got to see Donny play again? Interesting. And also, I can't I can't make that happen. By the way, I don't have yeah. those powers. I'm just I'm just an yeah. interesting hypothetical. Which would, one would you prefer? Would you rather? What is the like, would you the rather? Length? Yeah. Would we get more viewers if we interviewed MS Dhoni in the flesh mm -hmm. or were able to bring Don Bradman back to life yep. and interview him? Yep. Because one would be a probably the greatest scientific and medical marvel known to man. Yes. Right? Yeah. That is to secure an interview with Dhoni. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you you mentioned decibels before he goes. Yeah, uh, Donny or Walt Disney. Speaking Sorry, of, yep. si <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cryogenically frozen yeah, Walt yeah. Disney. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you mentioned decibels. So, uh, speaking of science, um, yeah. Sasha Decock, Quinton Quinton's wife, yes, um, had this up on her uh, stories on Instagram, uh, which is that uh, when Donny came out to bat. Mm. Her phone let her know, or her watch let her know that there was a loud environment. You can't That's have any more than ten minutes of this right yeah. now. Things are starting to make sense. Is that an ad? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I don't know. Um, you know, th this is starting to make sense again because, as we know, Dhoni has morphed into a five to ten ball specialist. Yes, right, because they are ninety for five. And you're thinking we could have we could have thirty, forty balls of Dhoni here, but as Sasha is showing us. Mm -hmm. They want him up the order, but this is actually a public health initiative overseen by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to protect the hearing of Indians around the ground. Love this. He's, Love not, this. Allow he's not allowed to bat for more than 10 minutes yeah. on account of people's hearing. Yes. Would you prefer to lose your hearing to watch Donny bat for 30 balls? <sighs> That's a tricky one. Yeah, 30 balls of that, that'd be balls, insane. 30 balls of ecstasy. You are taken to high heaven, the omnipresence of the man <laughs> seeping through you. Mm. Death. But <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was there for his twenty-eight off nine. Okay, let's talk about the uh, the the game. The, the the next thing that happened in the game, mate. This was such a procession, Charlie. Yeah. Would you mind pointing up the score for LSG's batting card, uh, just to show how much of a procession this was—a cakewalk indeed. So Quinton the Cock and KL Rahul they put on a hundred and thirty-four in fifteen overs. When um when KL Rahul was out, or no, sorry. So when Quinton the Cock was out first, caught by Donny uh, off uh, Raman there, mm. um, they needed thirty-three off the last five overs. So thirty-three of thirty. So the game was mm. just about over, and then Nikki P and and uh, big papi Stoinis mm. took them home very easily. Car Rahul, though, he was just so outstanding in this game. Um, but he started off the game by saying this, Pezza. Um, I would have loved, oh, uh, sorry, mm. I would have also loved to play for Bangalore. Mm. I had started there. I would have liked to finish there. And that was there in my head. But the beauty of the IPL is that you get to get, uh, you get to go into different teams with different players. So he started off the game saying, I don't really want to be here anymore. I would like to play for the team that's coming last at the moment. When you say started off the game, like was he mic'd up while batting? You know, <laughs> just keeping, I don't want to be here. Yeah, how are you saying? Well, I'd yeah. love to play for Bengaluru, yeah. you know? Uh, um, but I mean, like... Because that's, uh, that's his home. That, right? that's, his, that's his home. That's right. Great relationship with um, with Virat as well, yeah. obviously. Uh, but uh, it's that's it's such a funny one with like um, domestic franchise competitions where like, you can just say that before a game and everyone's like, oh, no, I understand that. Halfway you know? through the comp, a lot of mega auction talk already. Mm. You know what I mean? And this is like English Premier League. I mean, firstly, that is a, a classic come and get me play. Come and get me. Come and get me. Yep. Uh, which which you see in like English Premier League transfer mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the same thing. It's just like like the, the, the transfers are more interesting than the games themselves. What my team could look like, particularly in the case of RCB, um, who <laughs> yeah. definitely need another bat. Yeah. You know? Well, I think uh, he's going to play as your rounder, Kyle right. Rahul at moment. <laughs> RCB have got all these issues. You know what could solve it? Yeah. A we could keep a bat. Um, <laughs> but uh, this, from Kale Rahul, this was a, um, this was a reminder, mm. you know, this was, this knock was next level professionalism. Mm -hmm. It was clinical. Uh, people make a sport now out of picking up on his strike rate. It was exactly the strike rate that they needed for that, uh, yep. for that chase. Um, it was a wicket that required problems to solve. He solved them. Yep. Uh, I dare I say it's an international knock. There is a, uh, there's a subplot to all of this. Mm. There's a huge queue of guys keen to be the wicketkeeper bat for the Indian yeah. national team. I mean, just off the top of my head, you got you got Punt, Sandry Sampson, mm. DK, Kale Rahul. Uh, Ishan Kishan was Ishan, good last Ishan, night. Ishan Kishan. Yep. Um, what did he do last night? Just 
play PlayStation or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I met some two nights ago. Yeah. Two nights ago, sorry. What was he doing? Yeah. Oh, he was just very funny. He was, yeah. he was uh, a raconteur around the table. Raconteur. Uh, anyway. Um, it is funny, isn't it, though, Pezza, with... Um, and Dhoni. When you forget, like, it's easy to forget, like, what you have with K.R. Rahul and, like, that le- like he's so classy. It's class. It's it's it's, it's, it's class. Cl- it's class exactly. Yeah. Different to Ironic Clarkson again. That's a different person. Yeah, we're not altogether. we're not claiming that he is Ironic Clarkson. Yeah. Kale Rahul is Ironic Clarkson. Yeah. What's that? Or was that class? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's so yeah. classy. And so it's it's tempting to want that new change and flavor of the month stuff. Now, there's a whole bunch of these Indian guys that are now past their peak who have never done anything in international tournaments, which which is the, the truth one, as well. Yeah. Yeah. That, sorry, the number one things. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's a fact. That's a fact that's happened. And so, yeah. like, what would change this time when they part? They're all past their peaks, more or less. To to suggest that they'll do it this time, even though they'll go, they'll go into the World Cup as favourites. Yet, you know, other teams can do good stuff too. But um, it's just like that. That knock is such an important time when there's so many guys putting their hand up for his his spot because he isn't as um untouchable as Virat, Rohit, etc. Mm. You know, um. But when you when you look at that, you go, well, oh, that's just that that's level above stuff. Kale Rahul, make no mistake, is a player's player. A like player's in the I like game. that player's he, player. He is a player's player. Like mm. like guys at the level mm. know that he is a top quality mm-hmm. player. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, again, like I think a lot of the senior Indian guys, um, their positions in the national side, I think, are quite secure for myriad reasons. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, they are being spotlit by this impact sub scenario where guys can come in and hit bulk sixes, whereas in an international tournament where there isn't an impact sub, you know, being able to score at, you know, um, 155 against guys buying 145 plus where it's international quality through and through yeah. um, becomes more valuable, you know, and Kale Rahul being able to wicket keep and then bat, save in innings and stuff like that. Is a, it's, he puts a pretty compelling case forward and he's also friends with Virat. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's it, it, this, this knock was like – it was it was class. I mean, knocking over CSK. It was it was good deck to bat on second innings. I think it started to slip on a little bit, mm-hmm. but um, you know CSK have as good a bowling list as any, and uh, he j- j- he just um, he, he waltzed it in. Well, really. he it was perfect in the press match, uh, so in the post match presser where he got to say the, the the ball was gripping just a little bit. You know, now he's he's That's hit at one hundred fifty four eighty two. Uh, caught by Jadeja stunningly in, in uh, sort yeah. of backward point. But um, that was basically the only point that he was talking about his innings because the rest of the innings was talking about the, the guy who batted eight or whatever for CSK. I just wonder, like, I don't wanna, I'm, not gonna, I'm not laying the boot in. It's just like these guys, these professional athletes who are in more or less like the, the prime of their careers, even though I just said they're past their peaks, but you mm. understand what I'm saying. Prime of their lives in many ways. Yeah, and like they're doing these great things and so much of this press match conference is about Dhoni, what the, what your innings meant to Dhoni. How did that, how did that relate, relate to, to Dhoni? Dhoni? Yeah. yeah, and it's like I would, I would imagine if I was a pro athlete and um, I was living my life in this prism of being about me mm. <laughs> to fucking give me some flowers Yeah, and it's not about this guy, mm. but, this, but Dhoni is so... It's, he is so godlike. Yeah. It, it's like a player could never say that. It's like, I don't want to talk about him. I want to talk about me. Mm. Jadej is the only guy that's come close to what I mm. feel like. Yeah. But but it's a, it's amazing when Kale Rahul puts together a match-winning performance. Yeah. Donny's inning is basically irrelevant in the game. Yeah. Except for run rate. And it's like he spent 75% of that press conference talking about MS Donny. Yeah. That's, it's uh, that. Well, it's a cultural thing because to me, to me, exactly. that is so wild. There, um, there will be you know dozens and dozens of comments explaining to us what we don't understand about this. Look, and and look, yeah. there, there is there are things. There, sure. it, this is a this is a cultural and sociological phenomenon, mm. right? Uh, so all we can say is all we can do is overlay an Australian cultural perspective to that, which is ultimately irre- irrelevant and just it's peripheral to it. But yeah, yeah. in Australia there would be reluctance to um, elevate any one person above anybody else, mm. even if they do mean a lot to the nation. You know, the idea that you could win a match off your bat when you're fighting for your international place mm. and then spend 75% of that conversation talking about how it relates to another man who mm. retired from international cricket a long time ago mm. would, would irk a lot of people, yes. you know. It, the focus should be on the person who succeeded. But... Mm that is a different cultural perspective, mm. right? And that just says more about our society. It doesn't mean that we should um, overlay it, you know, elsewhere. It's mm. just it's just interesting. You know, it's, mm. a, it's, a, it's a different relationship to heroism and deification and worship yeah. and those kinds of things. Uh, well, that's, so, that's why I posed the question about 
we like a World Cup win or watching Donny play because like that mm. guy means so much to so many people and he's mm. given joy exactly. and love to so, so many people. And clicks to content creators <laughs> as well. You know? So it's like what is actually more important culturally to mm. the nation? And you, you never get a, a you know um, uh, uh, an answer across the board with that. But mm. it is fascinating where like you have this moment, this joy, this, this ecstasy as you mm. put it perfectly before – Compared to the um, the sheer frustration and anger and sadness that is felt when the national team doesn't succeed, and I feel like there's a confluence of the two here. Yeah, with, yeah. You, you know? Anyway, no, like the, the the focus on the individual does that hamper the collective um, efforts of the team. Yeah, and also if you try and um, bluff the opposition with the wicket in the final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Last thing, mid-season jostling. Very quickly, just have a look at the uh, look at the IPL table so far for season 2024. Tell you what, it's pretty tight, Pezza. Pretty tight. Although, are mm. we getting a bit of separation now? Basically from... Um, that's not the table. <laughs> that is not the table. <laughs> what's what's that, going on? <laughs> that's not the table. Jeez, I Ellis. Like, Ellis. Delhi really has come back into it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. There dude. we go. That's now we're talking. Up. He stitches up every game. Now, now we're talking. Um, so is there a bit of a separation basically from luck now to Delhi, which is uh, five and six? So luck now and now fifth. It does feel like. Yeah, I mean, two points. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> table doesn't lie, et cetera, et cetera. But. Um, Obviously, Rajasthan's standout team. It's a great result for the other teams that Rajasthan keeps winning because it just means that, like, everybody else is congested. Yeah. Congested. Yeah. So, you know, it, it really, like, it, um, I, I'd imagine most teams looking at that, seven games into the tournament, mm. you play 14. They go, okay, how do we go for, for the first half? Four and three or three and four. Mm. Let's reverse that for the next. Yeah. And then we'll be there and thereabouts. Or yeah. if you can do a Rajasthan for the next couple of games, go into the semis with, uh, you know, with a bit of momentum behind you. I mean, ev- like, everybody except for RCB yeah. is in it. Yeah, that's right. Um, um, yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. RCB, RCB, their squad is not that bad. The the bowling is unders for sure. Mm. But like, um, yeah, it's uh, it's sad for them. Um, and I've I've got a radical idea on what's going to come next. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, and neither do you. <laughs> no, I've got a few ideas, and let me walk you through this seven uh, point principle guide that I've um, concocted. All right, hashtag AskTGC. Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Buy low, sell high. <laughs> Uh, hashtag Ask TGC for today's show. Uh, please do join us for a watch along tomorrow for RCB yeah. and KKR, or indeed KKR RCB. All oh, right, which one do you want to start with, Charlie? Um, the table. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shwan, he said, do you guys ever watch back your own videos? Watch your amazing World Cup final watch along last night when I should have been sleeping and enjoyed it so much, especially because I was supporting Australia despite being an Indian. Mm, mm. I think you just knew who was going to win. Yeah. Uh, felt so happy watching your emotions change as you realised the big upset was actually happening. Was wondering if you ever watched that back and if so, how did it make you feel? P.S. the bit, yeah, 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 et cetera. Uh, yeah, more, more gold can happen on watch long. So please so join us tomorrow for the, for the <laughs> afternoon game. But uh, do you ever, ever watch it back? I'm going to say I'm not watching that. That's uh, like six hour watch along back. Nah, I, 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 for lifting the hood on it. Being honest, I I I never watch back. I don't. I find it. Uh, it's it's a it's a strange tough experience. I never watch my own work back or hear it back on audio or read writing back. It's uh, it just feels weird. I watch all our videos back at half speed. <laughs> 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 All right, next. Uh, what do we got here, Charlie? Um, Raj Rohit, hashtag RCDC. So I personally would try to stay away from furries in general, but hey, whatever tickles your feather, he goes, unless it's not harming anyone, good on you, mate. Um, unless it's not harming anyone. Okay. Uh, frogs don't unless, have- Unless it's not harming yeah, anyone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, frogs don't have feathers though, so you can't really be called a furry, can you? My question is, what terms should be coined for people who want to have sex with animals that have no fur? Um, so, so is there actually, he's talking about different names for people who like having sex with animals and then he's categorizing them by, oh, you're a furry. So you, have, you yeah. like one, like to have sex with animals yes, and then we're going to subcategorize that into furries because those animals have fur. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's not, and he's got a problem if you're not hurting them. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So like, uh, amphibian reptiles. Yeah. Reps. Still in reps. Yeah. He's in reps. You're like the slippery ones. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's not Charlie hey, there. Turn up the volume, you'll have heard a little laugh from yeah, Charlie. That's not Charlie there. Yeah. And, and Charlie's definitely a real person. All right, last one for today's show. Probably gone over. Uh, Gora, uh, Gora, it's Gora Saturday, said. It's Saturday, it's Saturday morning. Saturday, come People on. Get, corn get, corn get, yeah. watching Honey Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gora says, hashtag guys, TGC. Seems like, unlike us subscribers, Charlie is already sick of you guys. TGC, the great, the Charlie, great Charlie. The great Charlie. How does that make you feel? 
<laughs> a few nights on the Great Charlie. Um, hey, just, just, just finally, just just finally, yeah. uh, if you are interested, I wrote a uh, an, an article yesterday for Cricket Our Tales, sub, a sub stack that uh, I'm, I'm involved in, that the great cricket is involved in. It's about uh, our experiences following the IPL. It's uh, it's a, it's actually seventeen hundred word piece. But in, in case you're um, how's the piece on in it? Ca- in, indeed, in case you're interested, uh, you can get that at cricketourtales.substack.com. Uh, it's not an in depth piece on what's actually happening in the IPL. It's more about the experience of, of following it and a couple of uh, couple of tidbits there. All so, right. Um, yeah, enjoy. That's what's happening with TJC. Thank oh, you sorry, very one much. One more thing. Sorry, yeah, go sorry. On, go on. Uh, just shout to uh, Delhi Capitals fans who are um, fast forming a conspiracy view that we are deliberately avoiding following them. It's not true. It's a trick of the schedule. Okay, yeah, we're not following them tomorrow either uh, yeah. <laughs> for, their, for yeah. their game. Against Sunrisers, um, yeah. But um, again, against Sunrisers. But, uh, uh, but then again, a lot of them have asked us to, um, to continue that because they keep winning when we don't follow them. Interesting. But, uh, but d- hey, DC fans, stay tuned. We've got some special stuff. Uh, with you guys coming up so uh, you know it, it'll hopefully rebalance the ledger and by that we mean we're actually getting actually playing actually playing yeah. for them <laughs> um, as a couple of overseas players for them uh, alright thanks as always for joining TJC click subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys for the watch long tomorrow afternoon see you then cheers